Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel today. In today's video we're going to be doing a very quick 10 step guide to improving your driver rating on Gran Turismo Sport. Obviously um, there's some things that you can do that are more obvious than others and there's some things that I even still do um, that I do to improve my racing you know not every not every track is is going to be known by everyone to like the maximum extent there's simple things you can do to um basically make sure you, you're getting the most out of your ability and just remember not everyone is possible to get to that s rated um super license as, as it's called or what, what people tend to call it um you know some people might their peak might be b a but you know they maybe not be achieving these ratings and um i think it's really important that everyone gets the most out of the game as they physically can by using some very basic um, tips to get there and um, improve your license. You know, the, the the whole racing experience becomes more enjoyable the higher up you tend to get within your rating. So I think you're gonna have a better experience with the game if you can get your license up as high as possible. And there are a lot of tips to do that. Um, whether they're very basic to um, some things you can use that are within the game you know within the single player thing there's stuff that even i do still now before i do races and um before you you know experiment online there's simple things that you can do so what we're going to do very shortly is go through um just 10 really simple things just to give you yourself basically as much of an advantage as, as you can before you go online and race you know remember that there's three different races there's um some of them require strategy some of them require just they're just sprint races so there's there's a lot of uh, there's three different choices every day and you know i still wish there was a weekly race where it'd be one race that stayed on there for a week and it was a longer race and had more realistic settings but maybe that's something that'll happen in the future anyway guys we're going to get on with this very simple um 10 steps to achieving the best license you can get right now and then we're going to go through the first um very simple step so what we're going to do is it's going to be about picking your race so first step i think is really important is pick the race that fits you you know if there's a track that you're really good on tend to stick with that one race for the day you know the, the daily race i know a lot of people like variety but if you stick to a track that you know you're good at you're going to improve your drive rating going to a track that you maybe not so good on or maybe not as fast on you're going to tend to lower your rating so i tend to pick a track and stick with that and learn it and get the most out of that one track daily i don't very rarely will i do two tracks sometimes i might if i already know the track and i just want to go on a quick sprint race and i, and I know that the competition is going to be you know fairly easier uh, in terms of to be i will go on that race but in general i will stick to um one race and in general i stick to the um the longer race uh, so i just find them more fun that's just more my liking but just remember that always pick the race wisely um next track next um tip um i would say is learn the track it's so important that you learn the track there are simple things in the game on campaign mode now you know even i've done it on a couple of them on some of the tracks i didn't know like um the village track and the um Le Maggio, or whatever it was i think it's called i didn't know these tracks so i went on learned each sector and made sure i got myself fairly close to the top 10 times that were on there and then you can start you know lapping it constantly and getting yourself more familiar with your track but there's there's a few tracks i'm not aware of so it's really important to get them tracks learned and i think everyone can gain advantage from this there's some tracks you'll know and you won't need to do that on anyway but it's really important to learn them tracks next up is use the ghost replays Every single um, qualifying session shows a top 10 leaderboard and on these top 10 leaderboards the majority of the times will have a downloadable replay or one that you can just play straight away. Even I will watch the top the top person's time and learn from that time sometimes. If I find that I can't get close I will use their, their ghost to learn the track. Um, pick your car wisely. Obviously with some of these um, car sections there's so many I have that's my GR4 selection at the moment obviously there's way more to choose from but there's so many cars you know go onto the top 10 look at the cars that are performing the best within that top 10 and then pick the car that you feel will suit you more don't always go for the top one you know there could be for example the TT Cup there it might suit your driving style better so always think about the car selection it's so important to get that right you know obviously with tire wear take that into um into into um 
interview as well as well as um fuel consumption some cars have better fuel consumption it's really important to weigh all the factors up before picking the, the car that you use to race in um you know for example some tracks will suit a rear a rear wheel drive car to a front wheel drive car it's really important to bear them things in mind um, next up we have a tip for use use the custom races it's something i do fairly often in um in the longer races the 10 lap races where strategy comes into effect i will go onto the track choose the exact settings that are on the um, track then i'll pick the car that i'm going to be racing with and then i will do all the settings to, to match the um the lobby settings and not only will this give you um experience and thing you'll earn money as well which is always beneficial put it to the fastest setting because the cars the ai are really slow on this game so you can probably win no matter how slow you are with it on the hardest setting and um, put all the settings obviously the same and this is going to give you the advantage of knowing when whether you need to pit or whether it's a race where you just need to save fuel what lap you should be pitting on and um, how much fuel you might need when you pit and it, it's really an advantage rather than going into a race not knowing and finishing 15th because you didn't know your strategy where you're going to then lose on your driver rating it just saves losing on your driver rating do your practice in against the against the ai don't do it online against people that not have been racing it all day and know what they're doing go in prepared that's one thing i i do tend to do is do one or two races um if i'm not sure of the strategy just to give myself an idea of which strategy is fastest and then i'll go obviously if you already know from a previous race you know that track them conditions you know it's a no pit like no pit stop then fair enough you don't need to do this but if you're not sure don't feel afraid to just go in and do this you'll win the race easily it might not be the most enjoyable thing but it will get you prepared next up i would say always race fair um so many people make rash decisions and you're gonna lose out and not only is, is, is it can end up making like other people be unfair to you i always say that racing fair you know in, in this situation now me and TRL Lightning going head to head, last lap, last corner. I'm on the outside. I could have probably been very aggressive there and maybe give a little like barge, but I wasn't going to do that because the chances are nine out of ten times it could spin me and you lose more places. So it's really important to keep it clean and keep the position that you've got if you feel that it's going to, your only way of getting past him is by making an unfair move. Racing clean is so important. Next up, I would say, is know your strategy. It's so important to know one the pit lane entry. You know, don't just go into race and not knowing that entry. Practice that pit lane entry. Some tracks like this, for example, at Bathurst is a tricky entry. You need to get that right. It could be a quarter of a second you gain there, and then know how much fuel you need to put in. Whether you need to change tyres or whether you don't need to change tyres, it's so so important in these races that it can gain you quite a lot of time. Um, for example, fuel like remember this fuel is on times nine. So for a half a lap of fuel, you could end up sitting in the the pit for way too long because it's quite a lot of fuel extra you're actually putting in if you look how much fuel is being put in now you do not want to end the race on um anything more than 0.3 laps of fuel i'd say normally i finish on 0.1 to 0.2 that's how you want to be finishing the races make sure you prepare your races and get your fuel calculated and then you're going to be basically gaining as much time you're going to come out the pits like i do there still in the lead and you've got everything covered you know if you're putting too much fuel in you could end up falling back through the grid and it's not worth losing that time um, another point next point up i'll say is consistency is key it's so important just to think of consistency it comes more i i learned this on i race and i went into i race and wanted to win every race and your i rating will go up and then it'll drop and then it'll go up and then you'll drop a lot you need to learn that sometimes finishing third second fourth fifth isn't a bad thing you're not going to lose your driver racing through finishing fifth etc or sixth or seventh you're going to lose it through finishing 15th and crashing out and stuff and spinning out and making mistakes it's so important just to always drive within yourself i did a video on a set of course a while ago where i mentioned this about driving 90 percent to 95 percent in races and in qualifying you can test the limits but in race keep within your limits and you will receive better results as a result you know winning the race is not always important keep in position racing fair and keeping consistency will improve your driver rating and allow you to to basically get as high up as you can to them a and s license um and, you know we did this s license in 25 days um i did start off wanting to win every race i admit it's the same with i racing but eventually you learn that consistency is more important than winning every single race i think i've won about 50 percent of my races that i'm in now and i feel that's that's a good ratio because you know finishing second third and fourth is always also a good result on these type of games where you place with you know similar skilled drivers always remember that you know if they're all similar skilled 
finishing the top five is a good result. You don't need to win every race. And it's so important. I see so many people wanting to win the race on the first corner. They they outbreak themselves, go off, and then they're in dead last position. Then they quit, and then they lose so much driver rating. It's just something you really do need to get into the uh, motion of, of always thinking it's not always important to win every race. You know, Go back to Prost in F1s. He was a master of it. He, he, he always knew what position he had to finish a race. You know, If it meant finishing fourth, he'd finish fourth. And it's the same type of thing to improve your drive rating within um, Gran Turismo Sport and games like iRacing. It's just a similar, men similar mentality that you need to take into these races. And it's one that will give you more enjoyable experience when you come up against people. Because if you're racing fair and you're racing clean people will race more likely to race clean around you um sportsmanship rating this is so important um a lot of people do not take enough importance into the sportsmanship rating um you if you're an s rated driver you're going to come across more s rated drivers so in the races it's going to be cleaner if that drops down because you're racing a little bit inconsistent and hitting people and stuff your rating is going to drop and you're going to be placed with people that are also not as high rated. So the races are going to get dirtier the lower you go. So it's really important to just try and keep it clean. Even if your driver rating is not improving, just keep it clean. Get that S license and then concentrate on your drive rating and the races will be cleaner. That is one thing I've learned on this game. I remember my rating dropping to A and I instantly could see the difference in the quality of driving. It's really important to bear that in mind. Um, next, the last tip I would say is know your opposition. It's so so important to just know the people you're racing against you know if you know that the, there's five or six people that are really clean you know in your head that they're not going to lunge and make dirty moves but if you know there's that guy that just tends to just make like really rash decisions and you know he's just going to throw one up the inside you're prepared for it let him do that and i'll tell you now the majority of the time these people that do these rash decisions will outbreak themselves they'll run off wide They'll go through a corner and miss the corner completely and you'll just go back into the lead. It's just so important to bear that in mind. And always, I always tend to, if I've had a good race with someone, I'll always go in the comments on in the lobby and tell them that was a good race. I enjoyed that. Let people know that you've had a good race. You know, The more friends you have on the, ra on the game, the cleaner the racing experience is going to be and the more enjoyable the experience is going to be when you come up against these people again. Remember, you are going to come up across the same people more than once because it is skill based matchmaking you're going to end up racing the people that are on your level so until you improve your level and get into higher ranks you're going to be racing these people probably quite a few times a day if you're racing daily and this is why you need to be very um, polite and you know respectful in these lobbies because if you start driving dirty people are going to pick up on that so i advise you always drive fair and clean and always pay attention to who you are racing. If you know there is someone that is dirty, just give them the space if they're going to throw one up the inside. Because the, I am, I promise you, the majority of the time they will make a mistake somewhere else, or they'll just run off wide when they throw it up the inside anyway. So just bear that in mind. And I hope these top, um, these ten tips will help you to achieve a better rating and get more 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 enjoyment out of the game as i found there is definitely more enjoyment the higher up you get i'm now s rate i'm obviously the s rated driver ss rated driver it took me 25 days to do it and the enjoyment level is really high for myself at the moment when i go in a race i have really good battles with people and it's fun and enjoyable anyway guys thanks for watching this video if you've enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos make sure you check out my track guides these, these can always also be beneficial to yourself in terms of improving your lap time and make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you already haven't thanks again for watching